Hello, Assalamu alaikum, and welcome back to the final part of Your Property Show. Thank you for joining myself, Hasina Mumtaz, and Kam Ali, who is the Managing Director of District One Estates, and he's here to answer all your questions about properties and investments. So please call through. The number's up on your screen. Do give us a call. Uh, today we're focusing on auction properties, but your question can be about anything to do with properties, as well as investments, as well. And he's also a tra uh, trained accountant and mortgage advisor. So if you've got questions around those areas, do please come through to us. Now, um, in terms of auction properties, so earlier on you highlighted some of the benefits of buying at auction. Obviously, you get cheaper properties, all sorts of things. But what about the quality of auction properties? Um, you know, c can you? get finance on those properties? What's the general quality of the properties yeah, I mean, like? Yeah, auction properties tend to be uh, a mixed bunch. I mean, there's, there's, there's commercial auctions and the residential auctions. Um, lot of, most of the commercial auction uh, properties are actually sold generally in uh, commercial auctions mm -hmm. rather than uh, through state agents. Now, with the residential side, uh, buy to lets, uh, residential, it's a mix, but you can get quite a lot of properties where works are required or there's a problem with it, people can't get finance and somebody wants a quick sell and mm -hmm. uh, the uh, purchasers are not able to get finance on it. So yeah, they, they, you can get some very crappy properties, but then you can get a good discount because uh, in view of the fact that you know nobody else probably wants this particular property, so you, you get a good discount because, mm -hmm. you know, and then a lot of developers actually go and buy properties at auction saying, look, okay, I'm happy to take on the work that's required to bring it up to standard and invest their cash. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you can get some very poor quality properties, but then on the other hand, you can get some good deals, good discounted and good uh, standard property simply because somebody needs to sell very quickly because of a uh, distress sales, uh, mm. divorce or whatever reason. Mm. And uh, so it's a mixed bunch, but that's why it's important to actually look at what you're getting. Do you want to take on something that requires work or is it something that you want to move into? Is it something that you need to raise finance? So there's lots of questions to ask and uh, that's why it's important to do the res research beforehand. Mm. What am I getting myself into? Is it something that I can get finance on it? This is why this is some of the properties you have to get emergency finance or bridging finance mm -hmm. simply because um, you can't get a normal conventional mortgage because the property is not up to that standard so right. for the banks to lend on it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in, in terms of raising, raising finance, so there's, you've got to find the stamp duty now, yes. there's all these other tax changes that yes. are coming in. But it, it seems to me you also need to factor in how much work. Absolutely, um, you need, yes. So you'd need to do a viewing. Mm maybe take a build around, yes. do, do they allow you to do that, to take a build yes, around Yes, absolutely, yes. So, so whenever there's a slot of viewing, you can take your builder, your valuer, your solicitor, whoever wants to go and view this property okay. at that time. And they don't give specific appointments unless it's a huge, uh, you know, a few million uh, big property. But uh, normally they have a slot. So they look, this week there's two slots and you can take many, you take your whole family with you to actually view the property. And it's very important that you do go and view the properties. Mm. And you can also check out the competition, see how many other people are there are interested in the property. So you get a feel whether there's a good chance you can get this property. You're mm. wasting your time. There's maybe t another 50 people interested in it. So yeah, it's um, you, you get a feel for that when you inspect the property. Okay. And also in terms of finance, in the last show, we, one of the ways that you mentioned about raising finance mm. to, to buy a buy-to-let property is maybe, maybe set up some sort of consortium, get a group That's of people right, together. Yeah. Can you do that with auction properties? Absolutely. Yeah. Auction properties, a lot of people do that actually because there's, there's a risk that you cannot raise finance on it. So if there's a group of friends or family, mm. or say four or five people, you can raise the money fairly quickly. So, because you, you know, there's five of you, you can approach uh, other people. And so, so you, it is, some people do prefer to do it in groups because you have share that backup, risk. share yeah. the risk, and you have that contingency to say, look, if we're not able to get the finance, each of us can put in 100,000 each or 50,000, whatever it is. Mm. They can put in and um, it, you, you have a mortgage-free property that you can do it up do, and then approach the banks if you want finance on it and take your money out that way. Yeah. And then is it the same as other buy to lets? Um, do most people tend to, if they buy at auction, is it mm. because they want to buy something, turn it around quickly, put it back onto the market, or do people everybody's the got their own little strategies? You know, mm. some people do want to buy and sell, or do it up and sell on. Others say, look, um, I don't want the hassle. I need to buy a few more properties mm. simply for investment purposes, and they go and buy. 
and so each person's got their own little strategy. Some people say, look, I'm going to go and I don't have the cash, I'll do uh, bridging finance mm. and then um, I'll do some minor works and I've got a good discount, I'll tell you what, I'll take all my money back simply because the value is a lot higher than what I paid at the auction. Mm. So, you know, that's another quick way of building your portfolio. So you're leveraging in the sense that Say, for instance, you purchase something at 300,000 and you feel that you can get some really good discounts at auctions, mm -hmm. particularly you know, if there's not in a, a, a competition there. So you buy something at 300,000, you believe it's worth 350, and possibly with some minor changes, it could be worth 400,000. Now, within that six months, you remortgage, you can simply take all your money that you've invested out. Mm. And so that my, a property is not holding any of your money at all. You go back to the auction with that money to buy another one. Mm. And some people have actually built up portfolios like that. So it's, it's leverage. You're, you're leveraging on the banks, refinancing, going on to one and then on to the next. So again, it comes, depends on what strategy you're using. Okay. You know? So on that strategy, you can't obviously sell mm. because you know, you're, you're taking the money out rather than selling. But then some people do sell and say, look, once I've sold, then I'll reinvest it in another one property. A lot of builders do it, developers do it, they go and buy something that needs a lot of work and uh, they spend their time and money and then sell it on. And um, so, it, yeah. so, Some people, so I've even seen first time buyers actually in a nice two or three bedroom house. Um, it's, they have no choice because it's selling in the auction, they have to go for it and uh, you know, they can organize a mortgage on it if it's in a reasonably good condition. Okay, so we're talking about strategies. Now obviously in London there's, mm. you know, there's you know, such great demand even for auction properties. Would you advise people that if they can't get a property in London, if they're mm. living in London, but they should look in other parts of the country where property value, you know, might be a bit cheaper? Yes, I mean, say for instance, the auction is in London, tends to be most of the properties would be in around London, but you do get a certain percentage of, uh, of properties that are based outside London. Mm. So this is where, again, you have to use your tactics and strategies, say, look, Everyone, everyone, at the, they're going for the London properties. Maybe perhaps I could go for one that's in, uh, I don't know, Birmingham or Luton or somewhere. Mm. And so you have a better chance of success because when I go to York, I don't look at something for L uh, Luton or Birmingham because I'm f pretty much focused in the London area. So, you know, it's a different way of thinking and you could well be very successful and get a discount on the property in Luton because mm. the, most people that I know go to London auction, particularly going for the London properties. Mm. So you're right, you could actually plan it, but then, you know, uh, you do have, this, uh, if, if, it's, if it's far away from where you live and going up and down and have you, uh, okay. you know, to... Oh, can I just interrupt you there yeah. because we've got a caller waiting. Um, hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, you're through to the studio. What's your name and what's Hello. your question? Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you for calling. What's your Can question? Can you speak up, please? Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Hello. Hello, we can yes. hear you. Can you hear us? I'm a student for Kambi. Jo, Jo. 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 Could you um, turn your TV down? I think that's probably why you can't hear us. If you've got a TV on... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm okay. very sorry. Thank you, no problem. Yes. Thank you, we can hear you now. What's Hello? your question? Hello? Hello, what's your question? We can hear you now. Yes. Um, how to buy the option for party? Yes. Bangla hoi tam ni na English hoi tam? English hoi le hoi le bangla hoi le hoi bo. The auction property is a catalog of the border. The computer is online. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a viewing of the property. The viewing is a time slot. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. The auction property is a catalog of the property. तो क्या आपने जुनिया आपने गौर फसंद तो लगे हैं मनोहर इंटर किंता सही रहा तो ये आपने तारा जो काजू को या लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट गुलो देख पाते हैं शॉपिंग सूटिका से नहीं आपना सोलिस्टर लोगे मात बा आपना मॉर्गेज एडवाइजर लोगे मात बा बोले हमें इधर फाइनेंस अंताम इधर फाइनेंस हुई बोनी एर बादे जुनी आपने मनोहर इन शॉप की जो ठीका से तो ये ऑक्शन जे दिन एक डेट तक है टाइम तक है आपना कुन होटल और इधर ऑक्शन हुई बो आपने एटेंड करता ऑक्शन हो ऑक्शन एटेंड करों जैसे मैं आपना इधर 
ऑक्शन और दिन अपना टेन परसेंट दितो ही बा जो डिपॉजिट तो नहीं अपना हमारे जिसमें लामाई बो तो नहीं अपने बीटिंग और सक्सेसफुल होएन तो ये टेन परसेंट दिलाई तो ही बा इदिन ये बाद अपने खागोई शॉप के लिए दिवो तारा कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिवो अपना रे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लो या अपने अपना सोलिस्टर के से नियादी well, thank you very much to that call, and unfortunately, the time has caught up with us mm. again. I can't believe how quickly this hour goes. Um, so thank you very much for watching Your Property Show with myself, Hasina Momtaz, and with Cam Ali, um, who is the Managing Director of District 1 Estates Group. Um, do join us. We're going to be presenting this show on a monthly basis, um, although that could change, and we might do it more frequently if we get great callers like that calling through all the time. Um, so thank you for watching and we will see you next time on Your Property Show. Asalaamu Alaikum.